let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Satisfaction in the Lord. Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let your, converse, let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have, for he said, for he had said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Golden text, Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Delight for disconsolation. Quote, Brethren, you are told not to engage yourself in gainless conversations. Refrain from such things, for Jehovah God says, I will never leave you comfortless. We have no problem because he has already blessed us ever before we were born. Do not worry yourself about what you will eat, for God Almighty has promised not to forsake you. He has already made plans before creation to provide for us. All that we will need on earth. You can imagine the situation of the plants, the ants, all the animals in the bush, all the fishes in the water, and all other creations of God. They neither sow nor reap. They neither sell nor buy. But God Almighty takes maximum care of them all. How much more, you human beings? There is nobody God will ever forsake. Whether you are married or unmarried, whether you have a child or are childless, believe that God has provided all for you. God is all sufficient. Brethren, I have always been telling you to be contented with what you have, for God Almighty will not forsake you. Spiritual chorus I will never, never leave you comfortless. I will never, never leave you comfortless. I will never, never leave you comfortless. I am always with you. Brethren, the Bible advises you to be charitable to them who hate and despise you that you should be merciful, loving and kind toward those who claim to be your enemies, so that you will resemble your Father who is in heaven. We are debtors to God. Consider, when you clear a bush and leave it for some time, the weeds will surely grow again in the same way. When you cut your hair, after some time it will grow again. That shows you that God, God's care for his children 
is endless. So we are rather debtors because we do not glorify God Almighty or give thanks to Him sufficiently for what He has been doing for us. That is our problem and that of the whole world. Notwithstanding, God still have mercy upon us. Whether you love him or not, he will, he still thinks about you. Whether you have faith in him or not, he continuously loves you. God does not ignore or deny us even for one second. But we human beings are in the habit of saying that we do not have anybody to either feed or close us. This is because we do not hand over ourselves to God Almighty who is ever ready to solve our problems. Let our first lesson be read again. First lesson. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have for the for ye are said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Brethren, right from this time do not bother yourself as to what you will wear or eat or the people who will help you in one way or the other henceforth do not be worried over all these things for God has told you that he will never leave or forsake you instead let your thoughts be centered on God and leave everything to him for he will never forsake you. Purify yourself for the Lord. Brethren, do not commit any vice again because this is the time to see God. Recognize him for whatever you have lost will be given back to you. Let our second lesson be read. Second lesson. Matthew chapter 5 verse 10 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Brethren, do you hear what is read out in the above text? Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It will be shameful to continue to say that your problem comes from ghosts or juju or witches or any other thing. Even the sins you have committed, do not complain that you have many problems due to your sins. Just consider his statements. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Always feel comfortable because this new kingdom of God and his Christ belong to you. From this moment that you have received this word of God, feel satisfied. Maybe you did not know what it meant before and so you continued to sigh and complain for this reason our lord jesus christ said that it was not bad for him to suffer so that he would magnify his father's kingdom similarly it is not unusual for us to suffer so that we will gain entry into the kingdom of God. And so, blessed are they which are persecuted 
and who suffer for the sake of this kingdom of God, for they will rejoice in the end. Certainly, we are the children of God and the children of this kingdom. Whether people curse or deceive you, brethren, feel comfortably, feel comfortable and believe that this kingdom of God belongs to you forever. Whether you live alone in the house or with other persons, walking alone on the road, feel happy, sing and rejoice. Do not follow anything to constitute a burden to you. Always be confident because you are a child of this kingdom. If you have not been suffering tribulation, then you are not a child of God and ultimately will not have a share in this kingdom of God. Brethren, it is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let him who has ears to hear, let him hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.